Regardless of the wet weather in the east of late, the winter sports season has a long ways to go yet. Here at Killington in Vermont, they plan to stay open until May 2nd, and I think they'll make it thanks to 15 feet of machine-made snow on Superstar and 200 inches of natural snow this season. This weekend, the Bear Mountain Mogul Challenge will be held on Outer Limits, the longest, steepest mogul run in the east. The snow has held up quite well across New England this week. Neshoba Valley and Yagu Valley have called it a season, but Wachusett Mountain will be turning their lifts this weekend. Mount Sunapee still has the majority of their runs open. Pat's Peak and Gunstock were closed midweek, but both will reopen on Saturday. The spring skiing and riding should be outstanding this weekend at Cannon, Loon, and Waterville Valley along Route 93. In Maine, Sunday River, Sugarloaf, and Saddleback still have most of their terrain open and well covered. Sunday River's Big Chili Contest is set for Sunday. Wildcat and Bretton Woods are still well stocked with snow, as is Jay Peak in northern Vermont. Because temperatures were still rather cold, the early week rain did very little damage at Stowe, Smugglers, and here at Killington. Sun Valley in Idaho has terrific spring skiing right now. Jackson Hole in Wyoming picked up six inches on Tuesday. Brighton in Utah checked in with four inches. The upper trails at Snowbird and at Park City still have midwinter conditions, and packed powder still rules at high altitude Alta. Enjoy your spring skiing and riding. I'm Herb Stevens, the skiing weatherman, and I'll see you again in the fall.